Welcome to the Farm Show. This week we're at a farm near Henning visiting with a 4-H family as they're getting their projects ready for the county fair that's coming up. We've got an animal and a 4-H'er. Tell us your name and your 4-H club. My name is Kaislin Monkowski and I'm with the Henning Shining Lights. And you've been in 4-H a few years now? Yeah. Um, we started our club about um, either two or three years ago and my mom has been the leader for about two years. What projects you got going this year? This year I'm going to do um, sheep, um, dairy steer, beef heifer, and market chickens. That's a, quite a few. You said in the past you did a lot of chickens. Yeah. Not quite as many this year though. But yeah. now you've got the, the beef animals. <laughs> and this is your Holstein steer yep. actively eating. You're, you've been working with it. She's got it, you got it cleaned up nice. Yeah. Working on the leading. Is that the next thing? Yeah. At least once a week we go through and we do leading with their mom and dad. And we just walk them around the yard. Uh -huh. and, and during the during the rest of the 4-H year, now we're getting ready for the fair, but um, what activities does your 4-H club do besides county fair? Um, this winter we went bowling together and then we will just do some crabs at our meeting together and just talk. Is that every month you get together? Yeah. Sounds good. So, while well, the calf is doing good here, you'll, uh, you'll have fun showing this. We'll be looking for you at the East Otter Tail County Fair. Yep. That'll be good. Okay, thanks for showing us the animal. Well, now we're with Brianna. Brianna is a clover bud in 4-H, which clover bud, is, is that the beginner group? The mm. younger ones, or how do we do this? Um, there's a future forager and then it's a clover bud. And your project is the sheep. Mm-hmm. Named? Benny. Benny, Benny the sheep. What, what, what can you tell us about Benny? Um, he was born in March. March? He was a bottle lamb. Oh, that was fun. You got to do the bottle? Mm-hmm. Twice a day, or how often is that? Um, or is it more? It was like three times a day, and then we just went to once. Mm -hmm. Like, it went. But now he's, Benny is old enough, no bottle anymore. Mm -mm. Well, what is, what do you he eat or feed? F lamb feed and water. The light, light, is that like a pellet feed? Or is it, does he eat hay yet? Yeah. And, uh, yeah, looking good. Uh, he was a bottle lamb because the mother had too many babies, or what was the situation? Um, she only had she had three lambs. All oh, had a, a bunch. So mm -hmm. the, the bottle one become Brianna's project. That's good. So we'll look forward to seeing you at the county fair with Benny. Okay. Okay, Brianna. Well, now we're with Olivia, who's got a big variety of projects she's getting ready for the county fair. The, we'll, we'll, ta we'll talk about this one first. You've got some steers here. Mm-hmm. And a beef heifer. And a beef heifer. So that's two different projects. Mm -hmm. So so what do we all know? Do you keep track of what they eat or what do we do with them? Um, well, Samson, he eats hay and then he eats some just a f pellet feed and then he drinks water and then Missy eats hay, water, and then a different pellet feed. Okay. So. And they're going to, they've been on your farm a long time, these mm -hmm. animals. They're growing up there. Well, they're quite, they're not old, though. Mm -hmm. They're young. You, are you also doing the chickens this year? Yep. And uh, laying hens are these, or what type of? Market birds. Market birds, okay. Yep. And there was the other one you were telling me about earlier, the robotic thing. The Rube Goldberg. Rube Goldberg. That's mm -hmm. totally new to me. What do we do? Um, it's a series of... It's a complicated machine that you go through a series of steps to do a simple task. And the simple task this year is to squish a pop cam. And it would, 
it's like if you knocked over some dominoes, which hit... Triggers the next thing. Mm -hmm, which, hits a, which hits a marble, which hits something else. Hey. So, so you're getting a bunch of stuff put together. To, mm -hmm. You think it's going to work? I hope so. <laughs> okay, have you, have you finished it yet? No. no okay. No. Well, good luck on that one. <laughs> that'll, that'll be interesting. Okay. What, any other projects you got? Um, I'm showing a sheep, and I am going to do a t-shirt tote bag. That's to be a sewing category. Mm -mm, a it's a no-sew. A no-sew, okay, a t-shirt tote bag. You, you take a t-shirt and convert it to a tote bag, yep. is that? without sewing it. Okay, how are you going to do it? I mean, without sewing. It sounds like it should be a, a sewing project. You just tie a bunch of knots. Okay. Have you done them before? No. Okay. It's but first time. Going to be tackling that project. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, that, well, that's that's a that's a good lineup for you. you got a real, real variety and a noisy. Mm -hmm. Is that the steer? Or <laughs> that's is that the, the heifer. That's the heifer. This is a steer. And uh, okay, what other projects do you do during the course of the year with 4-H? Um, we went bowling once, and we were thinking about doing a, uh, like cleaning up the recycling area, but then the date that we were going to do it was just not good weather, so we decided not to do it. And then we have, during our 4-H meetings, we have different activities that we do and stuff. Mm -hmm. Are you an officer in the 4-H club? Um, not this year. Okay. You were in the past? I was a secretary and a vice president. Okay. And, uh, and which club is this again? Henning Shining Lights. Henning Shining Lights. Okay. Sounds good. Well, thank you for sharing this information with us. <laughs> we'll uh, see you again next week on TV3 The Farm Show.